Hello, CrazyCat690 here, to talk a bit about the Rise of the Tomb Raider officially coming to PS4 next year. It was recently announced that uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider would indeed be coming to PS4 and PC next year, that is 2016. Great news for everyone who aren't planning on owning an Xbox One in the near future. No surprise that uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider is coming to PS4 and PC. It's something we've always known since uh, while Microsoft and uh, Square and uh, Crystal Dynamics have been rather misleading and uh, not uh, quite uh, uh, forward with the information. It's something that we've always known if nothing else but the wording uh, exclusive to Xbox One Holidays 2015 none of their other games have said so uh, Rise, uh, Dead Rising, uh, all of those uh, all said they just said exclusive to uh, Xbox One so when this game didn't have that, it had the very specific Holidays 2015. It was fair to assume that it was coming to PS4 at one point. Now the whole deal was very strange since uh, they announced Rise of the Tomb Raider E3 uh, like two years ago was it? 14 or 13? Doesn't really matter but what mat what matters is uh, that uh, they announced it and then at Gamescom a few months later then they announced the exclusive deal which means or it probably means that the deal was happening in between those events uh, which is uh, rather shady to me I mean uh, for all we knew uh, both PS4 owners, PC owners, and Xbox One owners would be getting to play it at the same time. So to then have it taken away, and then having uh, them say, "But oh, oh, Tomb Ra there's still Tomb Raider games coming to uh, PS4." I mean, there's that uh, Temple of Osiris sequel. So yeah, it's not like we le we've totally forgotten about you yeah it was it was a, a shitty move and then they were very quiet about it uh, I mean well not quiet but uh, they wouldn't uh, give any sort of uh, confirmation about it so they made people angry uh, obviously many have been angry for quite some time which makes it strange that they announced it now. I mean, they if if they were going to announce it before the Xbox One version got released, then they could have just said it from the start instead of doing this. So it's it's very odd. It's a very odd way to handle this, since they could have avoided so much. Uh, damage so so many fans who will probably not buy it now, or they could have uh, capitalized on a Xbox One and got all the sales they could possibly get before announcing it. Uh, honestly, I was uh, expecting them to uh, announce the PS4 version at uh, E3 2016. This is very early and it's quite baffling to be honest. Uh, of course, as someone who liked the reboot from 2013, uh, I'm happy to have it. Uh, I, I'm kind of uh, bummed that it will take so long. And uh, considering it's a cross-gen title, it won't be able to uh, really use uh, the current-gen hardware like... Uh, uh, for example, Uncharted 4 will uh, is a current gen exclusive which has been developed with current gen uh, hardware in mind uh, while 
Rise of the Tomb Raider has to work on a 360, which is... I mean, it's gonna be prettier than the last-gen version, but uh, it's still going to be a game uh, that's pretty much a last-gen port. Not gonna be, like, the most impressive game next year, that's all I'm saying. I mean, though graphics don't make a game great either. Uh, like, uh, the two games I'm thinking will be the best games of this year will be Metal Gear Solid 5 and Fallout 4, and both of those games uh, are arguably not the prettiest games, while they are technically very impressive as far as size and what you can do is concerned. So, summarize, uh, weird move by everyone involved in the whole Tomb Raider deal. Could have handled it. Can, could have handled it better. So much chaos could have been avoided by just announcing this from the very start, if they were going to announce it before the release of the Xbox One version. I mean, it feels like they did this just to have another iconic character to showcase at the the Microsoft conference at this year's E3 where they put Lara with was it uh, a hey one of those halo characters uh, and uh, one of those gears of war uh, meatheads uh, so it it felt strange uh, to do that and then oh yeah by the way it is actually multi platform like for reals yo so i don't know also funny that uh, they're releasing Rise of the Tomb Raider the same day as Fallout 4. Uh, I say good luck to them, but uh, next year when the P PC and PS4 version hits, I think that's where most of their sales will come in the end, even despite this deal. That would be it for this time. Have a good one.